Hey everyone, welcome back to Take You Forward. So, in this video, we will be solving a bit different problem. And the problem is longest common substring. Substring, not subsequence. Okay, so what is actually a substring? In the previous video, we did learn about subsequence. The definition of subsequence was it can be something like A, J, P. That is a subsequence when you say it's not re consecutive. A subsequence cannot be consecutive. But a substring, whenever I say substring, it has to be consecutive. Remember this. It has to be consecutive. That means either A, B, C, either B, C, either C, J, K, either J, K, L. It has to be consecutive. It cannot have any characters left in between. So the definition of a substring is any portion, any consecutive portion of a string taken out is known as a substring. Now, given a string S1, given a string S2, the question is different. Longest common is same, but it is not subsequence. It is substring. Because if I was talking about longest common subsequence, you could have said A, C, J, K, A, C, J, K, and P as well. This is longest common subsequence of a length 5. But I'm talking about substring. So if I'm talking about substring, the longest common substring will be CJK and CJK. CJK. It can be the entire string as well. But over here we are seeing a length 3. Yes, over here we are seeing a length 3. So the question arises uh, is how do you solve this particular problem? Can you solve this using the previous formula? You can, but you have to do certain modifications. Yes, you can, but you have to do a certain modification so let's let's actually uh, look back at what did we do in lcs the longest common subsequence how did we solve this problem let's actually uh, write the dp so what did you write you wrote dp of ij is equal to 1 plus dp of i minus 1 and j minus 1 that does make sense if they're matching, yes, if they're matching, that is what you wrote. And if they're not matching, then you uh, wrote something like dp of ij is equal to max of dp of i minus 1j and dp of i comma j minus 1. Now, why does this not work? Why does this longest, why does this not matching uh, not work? Let's analyze by taking a very very shorter version of the example so if i take a c d and c let's say a c d and probably something as a x d okay so in the longest common subsequence what will happen is initially it will have d d common and it will end up doing one and then it will say let's shrink the string to a c and x now, when it does not find C and X, what it says is, let's omit one portion, let's omit one portion, then still compare A and X. That is what it says. Let's omit one portion, let's compare A and X, and let's try to see if we can figure out something. Or it says, hey, let's omit X, let's compare A, C and A. And over here it is like, okay, X, A. So let's omit A and try to compare, which gets it. If you're omitting A, you're getting AX. And other way it says, let's omit X and compare A and A. And eventually it compares A and A and gives a plus one. This is the problem. This is the problem. And why does this happen? Because, because of the omitting that you're doing. You're omitting this and you're still comparing with the entire thing. So you're doing a disruption. You are breaking the consecutive rule now if there is a comparison between a and a and this d and d was compared you know there is someone in between who was who was there that's why you omitted this you shrinked one portion of the string not the both not both the portions thereby in else in the longest common subsequence this works because you are allowed to have not consecutive but over here there is a line which says you have to have consecutive. Thereby, this line does not work because you cannot omit it. You cannot omit it. You need to be consecutive in nature. Okay. 
so how do you uh, then solve this particular problem so can we write a recursion we can but then we have to use one more third variable thereby there will be three states which i will not recommend thereby what we will do is we will try to write the tabulation format but in order to write the tabulation format you have to understand how does actual the longest common subsequence tabulation works so please watch out two videos one is the dp25 where i have taught the tabulation the other is the dp26 where i have taught what does the tabulation like what does the tab what does the table rather table exactly mean i've taught that in dp26 where i printed the lcs so let's take an example of a b c d and a b z d okay so over here the longest common subsequence is a b d and a b d but the longest common substring is a b let's see how will you find this out so as usual uh, we will be following one based indexing so 0 1 2 3 4 and 0 1 2 3 4 so this is what we have written and this is our db table okay this is our db table so a b z d will be on the column and i will be over here which is a b c d okay so how do you usually fill up you usually fill up on the column wise because this is means this portion and this means this portion so this is the db table that we will fill up so whenever i am at here let's see what string do you have a and a are they matching are they matching so you can definitely put up a one over here how did you put up a one over here remember this if they are matching what you did was you said one plus the previous guys and the previous guys will be zeros these are uh, non-usable rows and columns so zeros okay perfect now you go over here and you say a and a b okay so does this a match with this b no so thereby is zero next you go to z and you say a does this a match with z no so a zero next you go to a and d does this match no so a zero perfect let's come to the next portion you are over here and you're over here which is a a and b for here so does this b match with this a no ideally ideally since it's, this is consecutive since this is consecutive you are not dependent on the previous guys since this is consecutive you are not dependent on the previous guys remember this because you don't want any interruption because if they do not match i don't want any interruptions to be carried forward in the previous uh, else longest common subsequence you would have taken the maximum of this or this why because because this a was matching over here so you were like okay in this a b and this a the longest common subsequence is of length one because that is the longest common but in substring you don't carry anything because we don't have a substring we don't have a substring thereby a zero so you'll put a zero whatever this will put a zero perfect next you'll come over here and there is b and there is b right but they're matching they're matching so you're like okay they're matching let's see in the previous guy did the match they did and there was a one if they matched and they had a length of one why can't i take that one one for himself and previous one so i'll be like okay i can put a two so whenever they are matching i can actually take the previous guy because i don't need any break there is no breaking i can directly go to the previous guy and ask did you guys match and if you match you must have some value so why don't i take this perfect next you come over here this is z this is b they're not matching just put a zero next you come across here b and d not matching just put a zero next c and a not matching just put a zero next c and b not matching put a zero next c and z not matching put a zero next c and d not matching put a zero no one is matching next d and a not matching d and b not matching d and z not matching zero 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 d and d matching so one why one because because d and d was matching so you went to the previous guy you went to the previous guy c and z since they did not match they had a zero value thereby there's no one there's no one from the previous consecutive you only had a one if if this c like over here we had a c over here we had a c then what would have happened this c would have matched this c and would have said okay i'm having a match so go to the previous go to the previous and see so they're saying they have a two match they have a two match so if they have a two match you take this two and you say two plus one over here 
Here by you would have said three. Then again you come over D and D. They're matching. So like, okay, they're matching. So one, go to the previous, go to the previous and see how many are they matching. They're saying we have a three match. Three consecutive match. So take this three and a four. So this becomes four. So what I analyzed was, since it is for consecutive, thereby this guy can be said, we do not need to do any breakings. Like we did a breaking like, we did a breaking here and we moved to AX. We did a breaking here, we moved to ACX. There is no need to do any breaking. Yes. Thereby you can directly put a zero. This is the slight change that you have to do in the previous code and you will be able to code this. Okay, so coming back to the table, coming back to the table. So let's actually come back to the original stuff, which was actually ABCD and uh, this was uh, something like Z or something like this. Okay, so if I again redo the table, what the what is the value that it will have? It will have a value like zero and it will have a one. What is the longest common substring? Can I say the maximum value in the entire matrix? The maximum value in the entire DP because this two signifies AB is equivalent to AB. Can I say the maximum value in the matrix is indeed the answer? I can, I can. And that is the answer, the max value. So without waiting, let's get started with the code. So we are in the longest common substring. So what I'll do is I'll just copy paste uh, the code for longest common subsequence. Let's copy paste that. And what we'll do is we'll just put a zero over here. And this is str. Let's keep it s and t. Okay. What's the other thing? What is the answer? The answer is the maximum value. You can reiterate and find the maximum value. Or what you can do is, you know, dp of i j is just getting filled over here. This is the value whenever it is getting a value. Otherwise, it's zero every time. So what you can do is, you can be like, okay, I can keep an answer equal to zero. And I can be like, okay, answer equal to max of answer comma dp of i j. Right? And I'll be like, fine, let's return the answer. And I can be like, fine, let's now run this off and see if this is running. It is, it is. And now let's quickly submit this. So you understood, there's, there's this just a minor change. If you do this minor change, I think you will be able to solve any particular problem. So this is n into m. Again, there is something like i minus 1. And whenever there is something like i minus 1, what do you do? You have space optimization. There's no need to carry two rows. Just do space optimization. Again, I've been teaching space optimization from lecture one. So please go back and watch it if you have not. M plus one, comma zero is something which you can. And curl M plus one, comma zero is again something which you can. Over here, it will be previous. This is DP of I, so this will become curl. This will be again curl. And this will be curl again. And over here, what you can simply do is you can replace previous equal to curl. And you can simply run this. So, okay, oh, sorry, my bad. You have to also replace over here. You can actually omit this because you are actually initializing everything with zero. So there's no need of these guys. You can omit this, I think uh, this should be fine. Yeah, it is. So if you submit this, we actually solve this using a two, like two one dimension arrays and an N into M cross space, the longest common substring gets solved. So guys, I hope you have understood uh, the longest common substring. It was a variation of the longest common subsequence. So just in case you did, please, 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 please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing to us. And yeah, with this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's be in the next one. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden.